Hello, in this video I would like to explain the function create markers and you can find it here in the mouse mode toolbar on the left side and what this function does is it creates markers on the selected layer by clicking on the respective position in 2D or 3D and marker name and color are assigned automatically if the option auto names is selected. So I can click on one point, for example, here on the knees, and now marker are placed there, and also on the elbows. And of course, it also works in 2D, as I already mentioned. But you have to pay attention that the markers are only placed on the selected layer. So in this case, I have the underlay as selected layer. You can see it here. It's a CT scan. When I now go to the overlay, and I have to switch it on, it's here. Um, the markers of the underlay are hidden. And now I can um, place also some markers on the overlay, for example here on the knees again. And you can see that those markers have another color and they're also named with the, um, in the same way. So marker 01, 02 because this can be used for image um, fusion, for marker-based image fusion. You can find it here, but this is explained in another tutorial in detail. So I will go back to the underlay. Let me toggle the overlay. Now we go back to the underlay and I would like to explain the buttons here on the mouse settings toolbar for the markers menu. So we can save the markers. For example here I will call it marker and save the markers. Now we can delete all the markers and we can load them again. And here they are. When you press on info you will get a table about some information of the markers. You can save it to Excel and, but it's not necessary now, so. When you select auto names, the markers will be named marker 01, 02, 03. But if you haven't selected it, when you create a marker, you are asked to enter a name of the marker. For example, you can call it one or two. And here you can hide the markers for a moment and show them again. With this ruler you can measure the distance between two markers. Here you have the result. You can also calculate an angle between three markers. Here this is the angle. You can change the color of a marker. For example of marker one, this one is now green. We can change it to yellow. You can rename the markers. Marker 01, we can name it A. And here you can see it's renamed to A. Ah, we can center or view on a specific marker and then the 2D slice views, they jump to this marker. You can get a line profile of two markers or between two markers. When you change the diameter, you can make the markers bigger or smaller. And you can delete one specific marker. Now we have marker number A deleted. Or you can delete all markers. And as I mentioned, markers are used, for example, for image fusion. Another application um, to use markers is for vascular measurement. Let me create an example data set. So here we have a vessel and there you have, have you have to define a start and an end marker. For some calculation, for example, for the resonance or for the paths. Okay, but there are also other applications where you can use markers, for example, for distance measurement or for other things. Okay, I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.